The third tool that we use to make Rough Lumber S4S is the joiner. We have two joiners sitting side by side in the middle of our shop. The difference being between the two is one takes a more aggressive cut than the other, but we'll talk about that later. Let's start by talking about some basic components that you'll need to know to operate this tool safely. The joiner has two tables, an in-feed and an out-feed table. A metal fence that is always 90 degrees from the tabletop and a guard, red in color. Under the guard is the cutter head, has three knives and is what makes our edges 90 degrees. The guard should always spring back. If for any reason it does not, please notify the instructor. The on-off power switch is located on the base of the machine. Please remember, green turns the machine on and red turns it off. With this tool, we are trying to achieve a 90 degree straight edge. You do this by holding your flat face that you created in the surface planer against the tool's 90 degree fence the entire time. We will talk specifically about what you do with your hands while milling your material. Let's begin to start talking about our basic operation of this tool. First and foremost, you must not have any article of clothing hanging down anywhere near the guard when you are operating this tool. You will push the board's flat face against the 90 degree fence on the joiner by having your hands fingers down, thumbs up as you run the board across the cutter head. Again, here is a close up, fingers down, Thumbs up, pushing the board's flat face against the 90 degree fence the entire time. If your board's flat face should leave the fence at all, as shown here, make sure you run your board again to get a 90 degree edge on your lumber. Let us watch now an example of safe operation of this tool. To begin with, the operator has a flat face that he created on the surface planer. He's going to put that against the 90 degree fence turn the machine on and with his fingers down, thumbs up, push the board against the fence the entire time as he runs the material across the cutter head. Please notice you must move your hands and your feet when using this tool correctly. Now that you have learned how to achieve a 90 degree straight edge on the joiner, let's talk about what's not okay. First and foremost, never try to mill end grain on the joiner. There is a number of other tools that we use to cut across the grain in our shop. The joiner is not one of them. In addition, we have a number of tools that we can use to cut and mill plywood. Please, the joiner is not a place for plywood. In regards to size, please do not attempt to run a board that is less than 12 inches in length and four inches in width. If you are ever running your board on the joiner and your fingers are getting anywhere near touching the guard, your board is too narrow. Mm -hmm.